Jupiter is so big that 1,300 planets of the size of Earth could fit into it. A planet dubbed TRES-4 makes the giant Jupiter seem less frightening, as it is 1.7 times bigger. The planet falls into the category of so-called puffy planets, which are planets of extremely low densities. The giant size and the low density are a combination that we have not yet seen. According to what science has taught us so far, this planet shouldn't be able to exist. Located 1400 light years away from Earth, the mysterious planet twirls around its central star, making a full circle only every three Earth years. The star itself is quite a theoretical problem for astronomers, as it is as old as our Sun, but much more advanced, emitting three to four times more energy than the Sun. Although quite an unusual parent star, it does not explain TRES-4's anomalous size. There is a rocky planet orbiting a star 480 light years away, not that much bigger in mass or radius than the Earth. However, the planet seems to be the incarnation of the human idea of hell. The planet is home to rock rains and raging volcanoes. The temperatures vary drastically, with the side of the planet always facing the star reaching the temperatures as high as 2000 degrees Celsius, with the far side of the planet always being under a cold shadow, reaching up to minus minus 220 degrees Celsius. With a molten surface, this planet is a hellish place, and it has been named Korot 7b after the telescope that first discovered it. The planet closest to our solar system is orbiting its star at a distance of only 10.5 light years. The planet is a gas giant, one and a half times more massive than Jupiter, and it takes seven years to circle its sun-like star. Because of its closeness, scientists predict that telescopes will soon be able to photograph it. It is still unclear if this giant has any moons, but scientists claim that if it were to turn out it was in fact circled by moons, it is very likely that the moons are similar to Earth, both when it comes to size and temperature, and they could be carriers of water, meaning a potential source of life. 4,000 light years from Earth, a diamond planet is orbiting a small star. The giant diamond spinning in space is actually a dead star, and the diamond structure is the result of ultra-high pressures causing carbon to crystallize. In other words, the dead core of a star is now classified as a planet due to the transformation it has endured. The planet is literally made out of diamonds, and it orbits a dense pulsing star smaller than our Sun. It orbits the star in a little more than two hours. Although it has lost a lot of its mass, it is still much bigger than the parent star it orbits. The 55 Cancri E is a planet classified as Super Earth, meaning it's twice the size of our planet, with temperatures that reach 3900 degrees Fahrenheit. The planet is located 40 light years away. Still, its size and mass aren't what actually makes it deserving of the title Super. The planet is, in fact, the most valuable place in the universe. The rocky planet is made mostly of carbon, turned into diamond and graphite. If the planet were to be mined, it would be worth a total of 26.9 no million dollars. According to Forbes, mining only 0.182% of the planet would be enough to pay back the total debt of all governments in the world. World. 